just like the stars, our dreams may seem distant, but they're still within reach. We'll keep shining and reaching for them, no matter what. It's another bill. I don't know how you manage it all, Grace. You're like a superhero. <laughs> oh, Mary, I'm far from a superhero. Just a mom doing her best. Grace, I'm truly sorry, but due to financial difficulties, we have to let you go. But... My family is going through a tough time. I'm willing to do any job you have available. And why should I hire you? I did it. I actually did it! Hey, look who it is. It's poor Ben. Why am I always the one they pick on? Every task I complete, every goal I achieve, brings us closer to a brighter future. Breakfast is ready, my loves! Coming in a bit, Mom! Mom, do you have to go to work today? Yes, my son. I need to be there for both of my jobs. We need every hour I can get. Mom, I know times are tough, but we're in this together. We'll find a way, just like we always do. You know what, Mom? I want to help. Maybe I can find a part-time job after school, or on the weekends. No, honey. Your education is important. I appreciate your desire to help, but focus on your studies for now. It'll pay off in the long run. I guess you're right, Mom. Mom, I've been researching scholarships and there are some great opportunities out there. My friend and I are working hard to secure one. That's wonderful, Anna. And Ben, how are your studies going at school? It's cool. Yesterday we learned about stars. They're far away, but they still shine bright. Exactly. Just like the stars, our dreams may seem distant, but they're still within reach. We'll keep shining and reaching for them no matter what. If only your dad was here with us in this journey. I miss him. I'm sure dad will see our efforts, mom. We'll make him proud too. Noah, take care of your siblings at school. I've got it, mom. I love you guys so much. I love you too, mom. We love you too, mom. Now, off to school. Let's embrace the day with hope in our hearts. How was work, Mom? <sighs> Tiring, but we keep pushing through, don't we? I researched scholarships today. I found one for academic excellence that I can aim for. That's fantastic, Anna. Your determination inspires me. Look, Mom, it's a star, just like we talked about this morning. It's beautiful, Ben, just like a real star. It's another bill. All right, let's face this together, just like we face everything else. What can we do, Mom? We can start by staying positive, Noah. We've overcome tough times before. I can offer tutoring services for younger kids. It might help our finances. That's a great idea, Anna. But remember, your studies always come first. I wish I could help, Mom. You already do, Ben. Your love and support mean the world to me. Look, we're going to face challenges, but we'll face them together, as a team, as a family. We'll make a plan, adapt, and overcome. Promise me you won't lose hope. We, we promise, promise, Mom. Grace, I need those floors done by 2 p.m. Sure thing, boss. I'm on it. Grace, you always have such a positive outlook. How do you do it? 
Life's full of challenges, and we can choose to complain or tackle them with a smile. I choose to smile. Your upbeat attitude is inspiring. I wish I had your positivity. I've learned that instead of complaining about the climb, it's better to appreciate the view along the way. I don't know how you manage it all, Grace. You're like a superhero. <laughs> oh, Mary, I'm far from a superhero. Just a mom doing her best. Well, your best is truly admirable. Thank you, Mary. But you know, we all have that inner strength, especially when we're fighting for the ones we love. You're right. We find the strength we never knew we had when the people we love need us. That's the truth. I consider myself lucky to have my kids. They're my little stars, illuminating even the darkest nights. Okay, Grace, we can do this. One bill at a time, one day at a time. Look at you three, so peaceful, so innocent. I'll give you the world, my darlings, I promise. Grace, what's been weighing on your mind lately? I've been consumed by the thoughts of my kids' futures, especially their college education. I can understand why that worries you. College costs seem to keep rising, don't they? Yes, Mary. I want them to have a better life, free from the struggles I've faced. Grace, you're doing everything you can to try to provide for them. Your dedication is evident. But is it enough? The cost of college is so overwhelming. I'm saving every penny, but... Grace, don't forget that it's not all about money. You're teaching them the importance of being strong, never giving up, and working hard. You're right. It's about showing them how to have big dreams and never giving up, no matter what. Okay, so that's $50 from tips at the restaurant this week and $30 from the cleaning job. That's an additional $80 for the fund. And if I can save $80 every week, that's $320 a month. In a year, that's $3,840. It's not enough, but it's a start. Every penny counts. Tuition, books, room, and board. It's going to be a difficult journey, but we'll make it. We have to. Every sacrifice, every extra shift, every saved meal is for you, my loves. One day, when you walk across that graduation stage wearing your caps and gowns, you'll know it was all worth it. I've been saving diligently, sir, but college fees are incredibly high and as a single mother of three, I need this loan. I understand your situation, Miss Foster. However, based on your current income, granting a loan of this size would be challenging. I have two jobs and I'm a dedicated worker. I've always managed to pay my bills on time. I don't doubt your commitment, Miss Foster. However, our lending policies require assurance that the loan can be repaid. I understand, sir, but please, there must be something, anything. I'm genuinely sorry, Miss Foster. Perhaps we can reconsider your application if your financial circumstances change in the future. This isn't the end. I'll find a way. I have to. For them. Grace, I'm truly sorry, but due to financial difficulties, we have to let you go. But... but I've dedicated years of my life to this company. I need this job to provide for my three children. I understand, Grace. It's a heart-wrenching decision. But we have to downsize to keep the business afloat. 
What am I going to do now? How will I take care of my children? This job is our lifeline! I wish there was more I could do, Grace. We'll provide a severance package and support you with job referrals, but I know it isn't enough. Thank you, boss. I'll do whatever it takes to find another job and provide for my family. We faced hardships before, and I'm sure we'll rise above the setback. Mom, what's the matter? It's nothing, my dear. Just some challenges we need to face together. But Mom, you look worried. Is everything okay? I have something to tell you all. Today, I lost one of my jobs. It was unexpected and it means things will be tougher for us for a while. But Mom, what does that mean for us? It means we'll need to make some adjustments and be even more resourceful. We'll have to tighten our budget and find ways to support each other during this time. Does... does this mean we won't be able to afford college? It may make college more challenging, but we won't give up on your dreams. We'll explore other options like scholarships and financial aid to make it possible. So, we can still make our dreams come true? Absolutely, my loves. We won't let this setback define us. We'll find alternative paths and we'll work together to make our dreams a reality. Mom, I want to help. I could find a part-time job to contribute to our family's income. Noah, your willingness to help means the world to me. But your education is important too. We'll find ways to manage together without sacrificing your future. Noah's right, Mom. We're a team. We'll face this challenge together and we'll come out stronger. Yeah, Mom. We could do this. We're a family and we'll support each other no matter what. You're all so amazing. I'm blessed to have you by my side. Together, we'll overcome any obstacle that comes our way. Excuse me, sir. My name is Noah, and I'm in need of work. I was wondering if there might be any job opportunities available. I'm sorry, but the master isn't available at the moment. We don't entertain job inquiries here. Sir, I understand, but I'm facing desperate circumstances. I'm willing to do any kind of work to support my family. Please, just give me a chance to explain. Fine, wait here. I'll see if the master can spare a few minutes. Yes, who is it? Sir, my name is Noah. I'm looking for work, any kind of job you might have available. I'm sorry, young man. I don't have any work for you at the moment. Please, sir. My family is going through a tough time. I'm willing to do any job you have available. I have a strong work ethic and a genuine desire to provide for my loved ones. And why should I hire you? Sir, I may not have some fancy qualifications or connections, but I have determination, resilience, and a burning desire to succeed. I'm a quick learner, and I promise to give my all to any task you assign me. I don't have any positions available at the moment, but I do need someone to drive my daughter to school every morning. Can you handle that? Absolutely, sir. I have a clean driving record, and I'll assure your daughter's safety and comfort during every trip. Thank you for this opportunity. Very well. You have one week to prove yourself. If you impress me, we can discuss a much more permanent arrangement. Thank you, sir. I won't lay you down. I will give in my all. You must be my driver. About time you got here. Good morning, miss. I'm Noah, your driver. I'll make sure you arrive at school on time safely. Whatever, just drive. And don't mess up my seat or touch my stuff. Yes, miss. I'll ensure a smooth ride for you. Hurry up! I don't want to be late. I'll get you there on time, miss. Please, buckle up for safety.
one day I'll step foot in the school. But for now, I must do what I can to support my family. You can go now, driver. Just be here on time to pick me up. Yes, miss. I'll be here waiting for you. I'll work hard, save every penny, and make sure my siblings have a chance to attend a school like this one day. Their dreams are just as important. I did it! I actually did it! Anna, what's going on? You seem different today. Oh, it's nothing, just normal stuff. Come on, spill it! I can tell something exciting happened. Well, I got my exam result and I ranked first in the whole class! <gasps> That's incredible, Anna! You should be proud of yourself! I know, Lily, but I can't bear the thought of putting more burden on my mom. She sacrifices so much for us and I don't want to burden her further. It's okay to feel conflicted, Anna. Your dreams are important too. You've worked incredibly hard to achieve these grades. Anna, your achievements are truly remarkable. You have a gift and the potential to do great things. I encourage you to consider pursuing higher education at a prestigious university. Thank you, sir. Your belief in me means a lot. But I can't leave my mom. I want to be there for her, especially during these difficult times. Anna, I'm sorry if this is too personal, but why do you feel the need to be there for your mom? Is there something going on that I don't know about? My mom, she lost her job. We're going through financial struggles and she's working tirelessly to provide for us. I can't bear to add any more burden on her shoulders. She's sacrificing so much for our well-being. Oh, Anna, I had no idea. I'm truly sorry to hear about your family situation. It must be incredibly tough for you. It is. But my mom is my hero, and I want to be her support system. I can't let her down when she needs me the most. Your love to your mom is extraordinary. But remember, you deserve to pursue your dreams as well. Your achievements should not be overshadowed by the challenges you face. I know, sir. But seeing my mom struggle, it breaks my heart. I want to lighten her load, not add to it. Anna, I hope life will become easier for you and your family one day. But for now, your choices show how much you love and care for your mom. Thank you. Your understanding and support means more to me than you'll ever know. Hey, look who it is. It's poor Ben. Yeah, his family can't even afford new clothes. What's the matter, Ben? Don't you have any money to buy decent things? It's not fair. Why do they have to make fun of me? Why am I always the one they pick on? Why can't they see that I'm more than just what I have or don't have? Ben, I'm sorry that you've had to endure such hurtful behavior. Bullying is unacceptable, and I won't tolerate it in this school. They make fun of me, because I do have nice things like they do. It's not fair. I understand how difficult it can be, but remember, true worth isn't measured by material possessions. You are a valuable person, no matter what you have or don't have. But it still hurts, Principal. I just want to be seen for who I am, not judged based on what I don't have. I promise you, Ben, I will address this issue and ensure a safe environment for everyone. You are not alone in this. Thank you, Principal. It means a lot to know that someone cares. We are here to support you and help you overcome these challenges. What am I going to do? How am I going to pay these bills? I can't let my children down. I need help. Please, God, show me a way! Yes? Can I help you? Good afternoon. I hope I'm not intruding. My name is Sarah. I heard from a friend that you make homemade cakes. Yes, that's true. I do make cakes. But I'm sorry, I'm not taking any orders at the moment. I understand, Grace, but... Please, hear me out. 
My daughter's birthday is coming up, and I've been searching for someone to make a special cake for her. When I found out about your talent, I couldn't resist reaching out. I appreciate your interest, Sarah, but right now I'm facing some financial difficulties. I don't have the means to buy the ingredients and bake a cake. That's why I'm here, Grace. I want to help you. I brought some money as an advance payment for the cake. It's not much, but I hope it eases your burden. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sarah. This means the world to me. You're welcome, Grace. I know it's just a small gesture, but sometimes even a small act of kindness can make a big difference. Your cakes bring joy to people's lives, and I believe in your talent. I promise you, Sarah. I will pour all of my love and passion into making a beautiful cake for your daughter, and with this, I'll be able to pay my bills and provide for my children. I have no doubt the cake will be wonderful, Grace. You have a gift, and I'm grateful to be able to support you in this small way. As I make this cake, I'm pouring all my love and determination into it. This cake will be more than just a dessert. It'll be a symbol of hope and strength for my family. This is my chance to show the world what I'm capable of. With every word I write and every idea I express, I'm getting closer to a brighter future. This scholarship will open doors I've always dreamed of. Every task I complete, every goal I achieve, brings us closer to a brighter future. Each day, I'm building a foundation that will lead us to a better life. Ben, you have so much potential within you. Believe in yourself, and the world will open doors you never thought possible. Your determination and resilience will take you far. Mom, you won't believe it! I participated in the scholarship program, and I won! I have a full scholarship to study out of town! We don't have to worry about the fees anymore! Anna, that's incredible! I'm so proud of you, my smart and talented girl. This is a new beginning for all of us. This is fantastic news. Anna, your hard work paid off. We're a step closer to a brighter future we always dreamed of. This is beyond anything I could have imagined. Our lives are turning around and it's all because of your support. Grace, you deserve this success. Your talent and dedication shine through your creations. I'm honored to be a part of your journey. Did you hear that? We have a hundred cake orders. Our dreams are becoming a reality and it's all because of your love and belief in me. Mom, I can't believe it. We've come so far, and now we got a hundred cake orders. It's like a dream come true. You worked so hard, and it's paying off. Mom, this is incredible. People love your cakes, and now you have a booming business. I'm so proud of you and all that you've accomplished. Mom, I used to feel down, but you've shown me that we can rise above any challenge. My amazing kids, you make me so proud. We faced tough times, but we never gave up. Now look at us. We're turning our lives around, and it's all because of our determination and love for each other.